Hello everyone, welcome back to the Physics Wala Merit. I'm Dr. Pati, your faculty for medicine. And today, I have the privilege to have a candid talk with Naveen Goel, who secured a phenomenal rank of 349 in the recently concluded NEET PG. So before this live session, I had a candid talk with him. And he told me that he's getting into the surgery residency. So now he's going to do surgery and medicine, so he's going to do a little bit of medicine. Naveen, welcome to Physics Wala Merit. Thank you, sir. So, was the result as per your expectation? Yes, sir. Easily, I am. I am basically expecting around one thousand n. But this okay. time, uh, we get a good rank. Uh, yeah. Do a marks, na? Hmm. Okay. I I just want to address this point itself because when we did recall sessions, most of the faculty members I spoke to other faculties uh, from the same subject as well. So most of us believed that we will have a lot of clustering because question paper. Apparently seemed easier. So, yes, but then whoever was expecting thousand to two thousand has gotten within thousand. So, what do you think should be the could have been the reason? Like, was the question wordings were tricky and people missed getting some uh, questions? Sir, basically, uh, I have speak with my friends also. Mm -hmm. They all are saying like they can't uh, do the recall properly. They mm -hmm. don't remember the options or what they have uh, take marks like. Or, and paper was like easy. I, hmm. For me, so it's easy. Uh, basically, I, I was sure that I'm getting around 165 correct hmm. recall. And uh, I have gotten around uh, basically 47 marks. Uh, I'm getting around 168, 169 correct. This. So I was sure from my recall. Okay. So to get this uh, 167, 168 correct, how many questions you attempted? 198. 198. So you just left two questions. So this is one thing that students often get confused because see, they may be knowing 150 with sure shot, clear answers. Then, of course, we are taking some chances. So what should be that threshold of taking chances is a strategy, basically. So what was your strategy? You had decided that I will leave only two, three questions untouched or you decided based on the paper? Basically, uh, मेरा स्कोर इंक्रीज ही होगा उससे लाइक मेरा ऐसे ही है अगर मैं 170 80 करूंगा तो बेसिकली स्कोर मेरा लेस ही आएगा 150 से 50 अराउंड करेक्ट होंगे इफ आई एम इन अराउंड 190 पॉजिटिव प्लस देन आई विल गेट अराउंड 160 ओनली अबाउट 160 ओनली दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट साइकोलॉजिकल फैक्टर बिहाइंड दैट बिकॉज़ व्हेन वी स्टार्ट टेकिंग द गेसेस सी यू मे बी नोइंग 140 150 एब्सोल्युटली क्लियर कट व्हेनेवर यू आर टेकिंग द चांसेस our subconscious knowledge kicks in. So we would have read somewhere, we would have seen some case, we would have done something, which is influencing at that directly we may not be knowing the answer on the face value, but our subconscious knowledge influences our decision making. So that's why uh, we should not leave too many questions untouched with the fear of negative markings, but preferably go with the instinct or the gut feeling rather than uh, trying to just, like there are students who just mark A, 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 B, B, B for unknown question but listen to your gut and you mostly come out with right answer okay basically like the... for... yeah, yeah go ahead, go ahead. like the need ke liye, I, I think ki 190 more than 190 you have to take. yeah for i i can even around 180 because i know paper is basically tough like yeah you know, 30 40 questions are very tough in i know in need only 20 30 questions are tough and 2030s are three months, like two options in confusion. So now, uh, like I want to listen from you, your journey, because journey and everyone's preparation goes through a lot of ups and downs. And as a student who is now planning to appear for the subsequent NEET PG exams, they get to learn from the stories of their seniors. So up uh, up preparation start kiya and how you chose ki kahan pe detail mein padna hai kahan pe rapid revision se padna hai so just share briefly your strategy sir maine to internship ke baad hi start kiya tha internship mein i fully enjoy my internship okay basically okay. i am from mbbs from in jodhpur na hmm. like there uh, we don't get enough time for in internship our clinical posts are very hectic and all so uh, I enjoy my internship only. And after that, I started preparation for NEET PG and I9. And, uh, in the first, in, I made I9, like first, uh, 
my goal was first to like clear all the basics mm. like first year second year third year and then i have to touch medicine that only so if first we have to do physiology pathology and then medicine will be easy yeah if you go reverse not then it will be difficult for you absolutely and and first i have clear make my own notes like mm. first only then after in last need this uh, uh, july in july month i was sure ki i have to only read my notes only because i have enough information already in the notes okay so good so i think most of the faculty members definitely endorse making own notes there is no substitute which comes closer like printed notes are second to the own notes so i think you did a good job sticking to your own notes now did you read all the 19 subjects thoroughly or you had a plan that okay like for some subjects i will have only a concise source or concise notes and for some subjects i will go all in so what was your strategy basically uh, in my mbbs i have learned all the subjects okay that's good beginning only like basic but my clear only mm-hmm. after when i started preparing so i i mainly focus on rapid revision mm-hmm. rapid revision notes and all and then compile up all the pyqs i have started doing pyqs simultaneously and mm-hmm. the topics in my hand ki these are the important topics these questions are repeat again and again every time so in, in the paper i in the before the paper i also know ki this question will definitely came in the, into the paper then i have seen all the pyqs like if this question was repeating five or six times mm-hmm. so definitely it will came again only yeah. like uh, language can be changed or options yeah. can be changed but they they are going to ask about this only yeah uh, so like did you uh, start giving gts during the internship or uh, post internship during internship i never touched my books only okay so you I had a pure fully, pure internship uh, so i fully enjoy my internship uh, uh, i have uh, i love my internship period i say and after that i started preparing and so basically i have to clear my basics and mates know so i uh, for three or four months i don't give gt only Mm-hmm. after that when i have done one revision or two revision then i started giving gt okay within one in a month only okay and uh, like what was the progress of your gt scores sir it, uh, it was very increasing like for mm-hmm. starting i was i was getting around 120 110 cracks mm-hmm. then uh, 140 then 150 then 160 around okay so be a uh, serious question eh? because uh, you said that you did the internship genuinely तो उससे कुछ क्वेश्चन सॉल्व करने में मदद हुआ हां सर बेसिकली जैसे सर्जन नोट्स आया था इस बार पेपर में लाइक मैंने वो खुद किया इंटर्नशिप में 50 बार तो वो तो गलत हो ही नहीं सकता और तो बेसिकली ऐसे हेल्प किया इंटर्नशिप में या स्पेशली द इमरजेंसी मेडिसिन के जो क्वेश्चंस आते हैं यू डोंट हैव टू सिट एंड रीड इफ यू हैव डन योर इंटर्नशिप सिंसियरली यू कैन डील विद दोस क्वेश्चंस एंड द नंबर ऑफ इमरजेंसी मेडिसिन क्वेश्चंस आर इंक्रीजिंग तो इस नीट पीजी में ज्यादा नहीं थे बट आई एन आई एंड द प्रीवियस नीट पीजी इमरजेंसी मेडिसिन रिलेटेड क्वेश्चंस इमरजेंसी प्रोसीजर रिलेटेड क्वेश्चंस आर इंक्रीजिंग तो वो सब आपको पैसिवल इंटर्नशिप सिंसियरली करने से मिल जाता है सो इट्स गुड दैट यू फॉलोड द इंटर्नशिप ओके सो नाउ इफ समवन वांट्स टू लाइक इस बार नीट पीजी दिया है अच्छा रैंक नहीं आया है एंड नाउ दे वांट टू प्रिपेयर फॉर द नेक्स्ट आईएनआईसीटी बिकॉज़ यू हैव डन मल्टीपल आईएनआईसीटीज एज़ वेल हाउ can they strategize for the upcoming inicit sir for inic i i will say ki stick to their own notes like what they are doing already na for neat pg should they just revise them only and do pyqs for inic for this two months only and start one tnd basically tnd of physics wala and all they will start simultaneously revise their notes and doing tnd and pyq bus don't go to other source and uh, new source for two months you can go to another source yeah exactly after that ha huh, for need pg two uh, go ya 26 then mm-hmm. you can do uh, yeah uh, you can start from the beginning only but for two months you have to stick your basic uh, already made notes you what i personally advise most of the students is you now you need to have a clear plan ki mujhe inict mein all out effort dalna hai ya mera need pg ka goal hai if need pg ka goal hai then just start studying everything thoroughly in reasonable details from whatever source you choose and don't bother ki ha do mahine mein kuch superficially revise kar lunga aina dunga aur fir neat pg ke liye prepare karunga these two months will be wasted 
बट इफ यू फील लाइक ओके आई एम क्लोज एंड आई कैन हिट दिस अपकमिंग आई एन आई सी तो फिर just revise what you have read and hopefully you will get the rank that you want so now you have got a phenomenal rank so what is the branch you are choosing the general surgery i'm thinking about general surgery okay so i think you had opted uh, a residency through ini also right so what was the uh, last year uh, last uh, sir last year i was i got uh, 984 and in 9 november and i hotel yeah. hotel in jodhpur but yeah. my main goal was to take general surgery But in open round, I didn't get the general surgery, so I have to choose open round only. And for after doing three months of residency there, uh, I didn't like the branch. Like I am basically general surgery person. Yeah, I only do general surgery. So, what do you think? This taking a plunge again was it worth? Yes, sir. Definitely, sir. Okay, so branch versus institute. अगर ऐसा डिसीजन करना पड़ेगा कि हाँ ड्रीम इंस्टीट्यूट में प्रिफर्ड ब्रांच नहीं मिल रहा है एंड नॉट अ ड्रीम इंस्टीट्यूट लेकिन प्रिफर्ड ब्रांच मिल रहा है सो व्हाट वुड यू पिक आई विल चूज ब्रांच ना सर आई हैव लीव आई हैव चूज फॉर फॉर माय ब्रांच ओनली आई विल चूज ब्रांच ओनली या सी दिस इज व्हाट वी कीप टेलिंग स्टूडेंट्स कि इंस्टीट्यूट आपके साथ सिर्फ 3 साल रहेगा ब्रांच तो आपके साथ जब तक आप हो तब तक रहेगा so you should make peace with your branch not the peace with your institute and aajkal institutes ke branch se zyada aapka skills matter karte hain in the long run it is the skills that will hold your hand and only when we like something we will acquire phenomenal skills if you don't like yes, something we may be forced to acquire skills but we may not become phenomenal in the field so good that you took a plunge got a rank now which institute you planning to prefer basically mmc or bmmc okay so uh one last question why surgery why not other branches sir um, basically i made my um, decision in the internship only when in the surgery post in i have doing na i love the surgery branch only so okay. basically i have a goal ki i i am going to be take surgery so uh, post your uh, surgery residency you want to proceed with the super speciality uh, training as well yes sir obviously so what branch you are already thinking abhi to sir confusion i like neuro and gastro me but let's see yeah, let's see uh, as you go through the surgery residency uh, your yes. likes and dislikes will get refined so uh, yes, now may you may be thinking gastro and neuro but once you're inside the surgery residence you never know you must start like you might start liking plastic or you might start la- la- liking yes, euro yes, but good that you have the clarity okay so now one last thing the students who are disappointed with their performance this time they want to <clears throat> take another plunge for the next neat pg so give them top 3 advices based on your experience that can make the difference first like keep stick to one uh, source only like right? yeah. if you are following one source from one year back only like stick to them only because all the uh, all the creators have the same content only yeah just they are basically good in some subjects and the other are good like all the materials are same just stick to one source only basically and do pyq thoroughly like you have to on the you have to mark the answer on the your tips only like you know that this question i have done only in the pyq this is the same repeat only and don't think twice in the paper if you yeah. see ki, like this is the answer then correct this this is the answer only so see this is a common theme of all the interviews i have done uh, with the students who had successful ranks across years the things that work is that stick to a source yes second PYQs, PYTs are a must. And third, overthinking exam hall me nahi. Jo bhi overthink hona hai exam hall se bahar. No overthinking inside the examination hall. I think you summarize it quite well. These are the three most important recommendations. Even as a faculty, I would give for anyone taking the INICT, NEET, PG, or FMG exam. It holds good. So uh, I think you have given a, a crisp idea about your journey as well as some ways or some ideas for our. following students to re-strategize their plan for the upcoming neat pg so on behalf of the pw medet family as well as all the students who are following us hearty congratulations for a 
the great phenomenal rank and uh, i wish you all the best for your residency i know residency is going to be grilling hectic so next 3 years as yes, is going to be quite a stressful period but when we like something slowly we start enjoying even when it is a stressful phase anyway uh, aims jodhpur so you already know how the residency is going to be so all the best for your surgery journey hope to see you uh, soon as a successful super specialty surgeon yes sir yes sir thank you sir okay thank you see you bye bye all the best